This is how to make a procedural boost texture on Blender. First you add a wave texture node and set the color output to the base color of the main shader, hit Ctrl T to add the mapping nodes, plug the object into vector, and rotate the Y by 90 degrees. Adjust the scale, and add some noise to the stripes. Now add a Voronoi texture, and use the same mapping node as the stripes. Put 4D, Smooth F1, and Euclidean. Adjust the scale, set the randomness to about 0.5, and the smoothness to about 0.3. Now add two color ramps, one in B-spline and one in Ease. Pull the black of the first one a little to the right and change the white to a light gray, in the second one put two very similar grays and drag them a little to the right. Now add a bump map, set the last color ramp to height, the normal output to the normal input of the shader and activate the invert. Set the strength to about 0.5. and start making some adjustments until it looks more like the real material which are like flattened balls on the surface of the sole. Now add a RGB mix, and put the color of the stripes on the bottom input, and the color of the Voronoi texture on the top input, Plug the color of the mix shader into the height of the bump again. And then give it an extremely low factor like 0.0005. And plug in a color ramp and B-spline between the mix and the wave texture to soften the stripes a bit. You can stop there, but to put the cherry on top I like to put the color of the mix shader in a color ramp and put it on the input subsurface, and decrease the roughness a lot. And that's it, your procedural boost shader is done.